What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to add your autoresponder code to your custom opt-in form or squeeze page. So here you have a good looking um, squeeze page that you had made or you bought somewhere, but you don't know how to add your custom code to this section here, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So first thing you wanna do, of course, I'm using uh, NVU. You can use any kind of free um, HTML editor or whatever. Uh, I use NVU, uh, it's great and it's free. So you wanna go to source. You wanna go to source on the squeeze page that you wanna customize and you wanna put in your code. So of course, when someone subscribes, you get that uh, email into your uh, list. Okay, so the things it already has, it already has an, a, a name uh, section, an email section, and a button. So you just have to add the your information. So Aweber, that's my autoresponder, Aweber, uh, they provide you with the, uh, the bare essentials. Uh, they, actually, they have an actual page on what you need for your custom squeeze page. So I'm gonna put that in the description box, that link, so you can check it out. But I'm gonna show you right here what you need. Okay, here we have the bare essentials for any form, okay? Uh, you need to make sure this form method post action, this link is in the form, okay? No matter what, no matter what squeeze page you make, you need that, okay? So we have right here action and paste it there just like that okay now as you can see here it has all kinds of values like a name and email and button subscribe button submit button we don't need that because it already has that over here okay we just need uh, the basics you need input name list name value Okay, you got to put your unique list ID here. Okay, and you need to put your uh, thank you page right here. And you need to put a page where uh, if the person is already subscribed that they are redirected to that. Okay, so basically we need to add just these sections here. Okay, the form method which we already did. Actually, we don't we don't need to we don't need to add that just these three sections here the list name the redirect and um, redirect if someone already subscribed okay we're gonna take this and put it between the form you see form here and it ends over here see slash form that's the end of the form so anywhere you want to put it within let's say here we have the h3 thing over here h3 header Let's, let's put it under that. So everything's hidden, right? Okay. And of course, when we go up to the preview, we don't see any of that. But that's all. You just have to make sure your Aweber form has all the essential pieces. Again, if it's Aweber, you need this link, this specific link. Okay. You can find it right here. Uh, where are you? Right here. I put in here, right? Form, action, this link. Boom. Just like that. And this form already has, again, the name and email and subscribe button. So we just have to add the things it doesn't have, which is the redirect to the thank you page. Your list name, very important. This is crucial. Input name, value, your list ID. Of course, you can find that in your Aweber account. And you have to put in your redirect for the thank you page right here. And you have to put in the <clears throat> web page where you want to send people who are already subscribed. You can use your own or you can use Aweber. Aweber has one. And that's it. That's simple as that. Um, you're ready to go. Just upload this HTML to your uh, host and you can start sending traffic to it. Thank you very much. If you need more tips and uh, if you want to see case studies of actual ways to profit online, please visit us at internetmarketinggym.com. Thank you.